So I often talk about the importance of having a domain authority website. So often when it comes to your Google My Business, you link through to your website and Google's aware of your domain authority and therefore it's aware of your branding. And so with a combination of your website, your domain and your Google My Business listing, then that kind of decides on how authoritative Google views your listing in Google My Business. The more authoritative your listing, the more likely that you'll go up in the rankings of Google My Business when it's shown on a local map. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. But how can you reverse engineer it? How can you make it so that your website supports your Google My Business in a similar way that your Google My Business supports your website? Well, that's what I'm going to look at today. So thanks for joining me. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I work with businesses like yours, where I try and help you to build up the presence of your website and your business on local SEO, on local maps, and at the same time, trying to help you so you can grow your business and get more clients. So hopefully you found my series of articles and videos useful, and hopefully you've subscribed down below. If you haven't done so, then make sure you do so you don't miss out on the next video. So let's just take this thought then of how can you have your website supporting your Google My Business as opposed to it being the other way around, which is often the way it goes for visitors. Well, what we're going to do now is going to log on to my computer and I'll just show you a, there's a page that you can set up and you can link through. And by putting together this kind of landing page, you can just help your business and your domain authority give some authority back to your Google My Business listing. And hopefully that will then help over time give authority to your listing in Google Maps. So let's see how to do that. So as with always, uh, you want to make sure that when you produce a website that there's uh, ways in which you can give authority back to other parts of Google My Business. And that's what we're going to look at today. Now, I've chosen to have my landing page and to link through it based from the footer. And the advantage of having it linking through from the footer is that it will make sure then that every page on your website, because it has a footer, is likely to link back. So I've put it here, which is uh, under Bournemouth, because that's my area. So web designer in Bournemouth is what I want to be found under. And uh, that there is a link. So if I open up uh, my link, you'll see that this is called Website Designer in Bournemouth, England. And this is the landing page we're going to look at today. I'm going to talk you through. So just going back to this page. So as I mentioned, this is a footer that's found on every single page of my website. So if I go to, say, my blog and look at, say, one of the recent articles I wrote, and if we go through here, so you may be familiar with this particular video, but uh, you'll notice at the bottom of my article, my footer appears. And that's the case on every single page of my website. So the advantage of that is as you continue to grow your website, then there'll always be a link through to this section of the website, which means that this will grow in authority over time. So you can call this web, this web page anything you want, really. But I would suggest that you try, if you can, to include in the keywords, um, the area that you're trying to serve and also the industry that you serve. So in my case, website designer in Bournemouth, England is uh, really the URL that obviously reflects what it's uh, talking about. And then on my page, this first part here, again, in the H1 tag, so it's the most important part of the page, web designer in Bournemouth, which is what I'm trying to um, really get higher on in Google My Business rankings. And then there I've just got a uh, kind of just an overview of the services and what I do. And these aren't links, this is just about some of the services. So a web designer, graphic designer. So for example, if you were a cleaner, you might do you know industrial cleaning, you might do carpet cleaning, just list some of the things that you're known for. And this would be very much based on your Google My Business as well. So if you look at your rating there, if you, if you if you look at what you've put on your listing, then you'll know the types of things that you're trying to be ranked for. So for me, being a web designer is probably my number one category. Graphic designer, web hosting, marketing consultant, internet marketing are, are more to do with secondary categories as well. Um, so I'm going to work down the page 
then I've got again using um, local is a good word to use because sometimes people just say show me a local web designer so if you can use local so I've used this in an h2 tag and then what I've also suggested is that you should really be registered on several other areas so for example if I go to, through to Yelp you'll see that um, I'm registered there as a web designer so that will open up my page here and uh, if you know about NAP then you'll know that the telephone number um, the images should be geotagged the information here should relate to the information on Google My Business. The opening and closing time should be the same. The address should be exactly the same. So remember, things like don't have RD, have ROAD if you've got um, road on your Google My Business. So um, let's just show what I mean by this. So if I do a search for Zanet, um, you'll see here that um, oh, there you go. So that's changed. That shouldn't be right. So there you go. I'm not practicing what I preach here because that says RD. And that should be ROAD on there. So that is actually incorrect. Um, so it's good because sometimes you find that you think you've got everything right, and then you spot a mistake. So there's something that for me to, to look at as well. Um, and as I go down here, then again, some images and things as well. So what you want to do is link through to these. And what this does is, is it means that the juice that this page has in ranking then gets spread out to these. And then these get spread back to how Google views your business. So when it comes to here, it then sees it links through back to your business. And what this is doing is telling Google really that you are who you are, who you say you are, that you are a web designer in Bournemouth. This is the area you go, this is your website. And all these things just help to give Google um, an idea of the fact that you do exist and you're not just pretending you exist. So I'd link through to a few of these, maybe use different words, website design, I've used web design. You just wanna try and make it as natural as you can, but at the same time, obviously, if I was a user, this would have to make some sense to me, but at the same time, it's pretty useful for Google to spider. And then the services that uh, I use. So these are just really, um, what I've done here is again, just to be of use really. So I've let Google know that I am local in Bournemouth, but also I'm near Christchurch and I'm in Dorset and near Hampshire. And that's my town and that's where I was born and all these things here. And I've just used the Gov UK. So if I go to Gov UK, Pool UK, for example, this is the pool area and so on. So that kind of just shows I do know I am local and these are the types of information. I've put a video on as well, just a little video, just uh, helps add my authority. Uh, and then on this side here, again, the um, the NAP is important. So making sure you've got road, not RD, which I need to sort out um, on my Google business. So that, you see, those two should be the same. So that's definitely something I need to look at. Um, my reviews is on there as well. This is an integrated, so you can implement that from your Google My Business by, by going into here and you should then be able to edit your information and you can then put that into your um, widget, which is uh, probably straightforward. Your opening and closing time should be the same. And this here, Get Directions, is just literally a map uh, link. So if I click on that, it just literally will open up the map link and show where I'm at and so on. So that kind of makes it useful. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of this page. By having a video, by having a bit of local information, by having a link through to directions, by making sure that the name, address, and phone number are the same, which I didn't do very well in there, by making sure that you've got information about your company and having some of your Facebook, Twitter, and other things all on here. Under the heading of being a web designer and under the URL of web design in Bournemouth, all that there is just building up a little bit of an extra picture on my website, which potentially is linking back to your Google My Business. And it's, of course, Google knows all about you. It has all this information in its uh, spider. And it means then that you have much more of a, a clearer, or you're giving a clearer picture to Google. So that's uh, what I would suggest you do there. Let's just go back to the, um, Let's just edit this so that that's wrong. So I'm just going to show you how to edit it. If you want to uh, stay around, then edit your business information, change your name and address. That should be Rhodes. So it's as simple as this. If you need to make any changes based on what I've put, I'm going to send that through. And address needs more details. Choose one of these. Uh, so keep address as entered. 
So yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's do that. And send. Thanks for your feedback, done. Okay, and then that's now under review. So that's how you make changes. Your edit is being reviewed um, and hopefully that will make sense when they receive that. And they'll see that I'm just trying to keep my nap correct with all my other references that I've used throughout my, um, there you go, so that road will be correct as well. Good, so if you have any questions then make sure you put them down below and I'll be more than keen to answer them for you. And I hope that's been useful.